Hello everybody. Um, I am going to show you guys how to step by step uh, calculate eigenvectors and eigenvalues via Mathematica. Alright, so the first thing I'm going to do is, if you recall that to get an eigenvalue from a matrix, let's call it A, you take that matrix A uh, you minus by, minus it by or subtract it from uh, the diagonalized eigenvalue matrix, and multiply that by the identity, which gives you it, which gives you any matrix multiplied by the identity is that same matrix you multiplied it by. So what first thing we're gonna do is we are going to input a matrix called uh, reg matrix, and I'm just gonna copy and paste, and so we have something called red ma reg matrix and we just basically in Mathematica we create our matrix in this form right here basically the rows are going to be done by your first parentheses your second set of parentheses or list is um, your second row and any subsequent rows after that is going to be done by subsequent list uh, within this big list all right so let's see if we just basically did this okay and let's go ahead and do matrix form all right we basically now get this in matrix form but i do not want this because including the matrix form with your uh, matrix um, variable initialization you can have issues and problems in your calculations so let's just go ahead and delete that and let's just go ahead and run that again all right also uh, right now uh, it shows me the output however I'm going to delete that and if I add a semicolon after that it does the calculation and also it suppresses the output which I want all right so next thing I want to do now is let me go ahead and copy and let me go ahead and go ahead and show you the other matrix which is our eigenvalue diagonal matrix now this matrix I want to go ahead and make this uh, let's make it LM for lambda alright so this represents our diagonal matrix um, that's represented by um, the eigenvalues. Um, as you can see, we do not have an eigenvalue for our eigenvalue or a value for our eigenvalue. So for the most part, we just made a con uh, variable LM. So if I go ahead and run it, you see our we see our equation or we see our matrix. That's the diagonal matrix um, of the eigenvalues. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and delete this. We've already show that, and we're going to take out the form. Actually, let me just go ahead and do this because I'm going to suppress the calculations. Okay. All right. So the next thing we're going to do is I'm just going to go ahead and create the identity matrix, which is basically a matrix that has one across its main diagonal. Um, I'm not going to show that in diagonal form, but um, actually I'm going to show that in matrix form. So just in case anyone wants to see that, we're going to go matrix form. And there we go. Oops. All right. And from there, we're just going to go ahead and I'm going to delete that whole calculation. And I'm just going to go ahead and suppress it just for brevity. And the next thing I want to do is I'm just going to show that once you have any matrix multiplied by the identity matrix, you get that matrix. So instead of saving it as another matrix or another variable, I'm just going to show that once you multiply the eig matrix by the identity matrix, we're going to get the same matrix. It's the same. So, but I will not show that in matrix form. As you can see, this is the same. All right. So I'm just going to delete that just for clarity. And I am going to give me another matrix, all right. And I'm going to make this the resultant matrix or the results of the matrix of our regular matrix minus 
uh, our eigenmatrix. Okay. And from there, uh, I'm going to take out the matrix form because I don't want it in the calculation. I am just going to run it. And that's going to be the result of our, I call it a determinant matrix. Let me just call this um, the predetermined matrix. All right. So as you can see, um, since LM is basically a variable that doesn't have any values, it does the calculation, but it does it with LM in the calculation. So as you see, 3 minus LM. So if we were to run that step in our head or run the step via paper, this is what you normally do to get your eigenvalues. You subtract your eigen, um, your lambda or your constant by the diagonal matrix. Okay. I'm going to delete that. And what I want to do now is I'm going to create something else and I'm going to call that. All right, and we're just going to call this char eq, which is characteristic equation. There's a reason why I call it the characteristic equation. So this basically takes our matrix and of our pre-determinant matrix, and let me go ahead and run that. And there we go. I get a nice characteristic equation of the determinant of our matrix, uh, predeterminant matrix. All right, so. Once I take the determinant of the predeterminate matrix here, we get this um, as our result. All right. As you may know, this basically looks like a normal polynomial equation. So what we're going to do um, is we're going to solve this via Mathematica. And I'm just going to go ahead and copy and paste the uh, pre-done the pre the pre code. And what this basic does is takes this char eq and it sets it equal to zero. This roots equation, a roots function within Mathematica, just basically takes um, an equation. And when you take that equation, you have to set it equal to zero. So I basically took the char uh, eq equation, put it here, and set it equal. You need the double equal sign because we're not initializing. We're basically just setting it equal to. And we're saying, what is it in respect to we're going to say it's respect of lambda or lm so it's basically going to solve lm and once we do this it's going to give us it's going to give us our eigenvalues uh, for this equation so let me go ahead and run that and as you can see we have complex eigenvalues here so we have that our eigenvalues is 4 minus um, i or 4 plus i or what we like to say 4 plus or minus um, i so it has a complex uh, root, a uh, complex um, eigenvalue. Um, and from this, we can actually kind of show a representation of our eigenvector. Um, what we're going to do is I'm just going to copy and paste the pre, pre done. All right. Pre done code. And this is our code. And basically, what this does is it gives me, um, it takes this predeterminate matrix what we had up here. Okay, and I'm going to show that in matrix form for you guys so we can see that. Okay, uh, let's see, predetermined. Okay, so it basically takes this, these two um, eigenvalues, angles, heads, and places them in this matrix and does the calculation of subtraction of these numerical or complex eigenvalues. Um, it's not straightforward. Um, as far as just doing the replace, this right here is what we like to call the replace. It basically says we take this matrix or we take this formula, which is here, and what we're going to actually, oh yeah, and we're going to replace um, everything that's this, and we're going to replace it, this value, new L, which is these L values or eigenvalue values, and we're going to replace it and put them in this predeterminate matrix or function or whatever. And it basically puts uh, this value that's the right of this replace all operator and places it into the function or matrix and does the calculation that way. So when we go ahead and run it, we have basically our eigenvectors. Okay. Um, the good thing about this is 
is this thing basically takes this list, the 4 minus and the 4 plus, and it inserts it into um, our equation there. Um, if it was just one, if this thing happened to be just one thing, we didn't have to do this two rules. We just could have did new L, and it would have already, it would have replaced it. But because we, because the new L roots gave us two different two values, we have to do this uh, um, parentheses. I'm sorry, yeah, print. I'm sorry, brackets. Uh, two rules with the um, roots because we named our roots in this equation. All right. However, to you guys' dismay. Uh, this was just to show off the steps. Um, if you get comfortable with the steps and get comfortable with Mathematica, and I've showed you guys how to basically play around with Mathematica, you can also just do this to make everything simpler. You can just go and do eig eigenvectors of our regular matrix. Okay, and if we run that. It gives us our eigenvectors, which for the most part matches everything up there. Okay. And let's go ahead and basically what this did is did some simplification and redu reduction that this one did not do. But for the sake, this is our eigenvectors. And this is our eigenvectors up here. It's just not in a nice form that they add in this eigenvector function. And we can also do eigenvalues and our regular matrix. Oops, let me take out the A. And once we calculate that, we have what we have up here. And that's our eigenvalues. As we got the roots here, 4 minus i, 4 plus i, 4 plus i, 4 minus i. So there's a way to actually do all this in just two simple um, two simple functions in Mathematica. However, we can do this into one big function by going Eigen Systems. Uh, Eigen, I'm sorry, Eigen System of Reg Matrix. Okay. And it basically gives us a list. And the first list is our eigenvalues within these brackets. So as you can see, the Mathematica uses good use of list function. So there's a big list here, and there is a little list inside here, a little list here, and a little list there. Um, it's a very efficient way of doing things, and I'll show later in future uh, presentations. And as you see, we have our eigenvalues and eigenvectors. So uh, I did show you guys a longer way to do this, but it does kind of hammer down the steps. So if you would like, you can um, do the steps yourself so it'll get you acquainted with. And you also learn some Mathematica syntax and uh, commands. Um, doing it this way with just the three eigenvector eigenvalues, um, it wouldn't have showed you anything much um, than just taking them and just in putting a matrix in Mathematica and doing a function now you know how to do roots if you need to and different ways to manipulate uh, characters uh, and getting an eigenvalue and your eigenvectors uh, and 